guys, how you doing? Steve Lav here. Uh, just do a little vlog. I'm um, talking about a couple of things. Um, did a little video on the Testo 320, and um, I'm going to start doing a lot more with the Testo 320. I think that, you know, anybody that's working on gas or oil really should have some kind of combustion analysis um, thing that we can check um, the fumes, uh, you know, to see if it's high, high CO levels. It's very important, guys. It was an eye opener to me when I got that meter, and uh, I stuck it in, you know, in some of, in some of the gas furnaces and boilers and stuff. And I've seen some of the readings of like, wow, you know. And here you are, you know, if you don't have a meter like that, you don't know. You get, you can't tell by looking at it. And I did that for years. I luckily I never killed anybody. And it's really something that if you're in business. And you're going to be working on gas or oil, gas, oil, um, any kind of fossil fuel, propane. Um, you need to have some kind of meter. It's, you know, it's it's an eye opener when you get it and you see. I've seen, I've seen like three, four, three thousand uh, pots per million. Uh, my meter was like choking for like a half a day trying to recoup. And, um, you know, that furnace was, was in the house. Um, I went over there to clean the... He was complaining about no heat. Uh, the squirrel cage fan was full of dust. I had to clean it all. And then when I started it up and I put my meter in there, it, it went up to like 3,000 pots per million. I had to pull it out. I, had, I had to call the guy and he didn't want to change the furnace. I had to put a new gas valve in there and I got it down to acceptable um, levels. But, you know, that lady in that apartment, uh, she could have died like nothing. So it's something that you really needs to be said and talked about. You know, we're all big into, uh, you know, um, the I manifold and this and that. If you're working on gas, you don't have a combustion analysis, you know, you need to get your head out of your ass and get one. Uh, it's important. It's really important. But anyway, um, that's my opinion. Uh, you know, I'm sure anybody that's that's got a combustion analysis and uses it for a little while, their eyes are like, wow, I didn't realize what was out there. And you can't tell by looking at shit. You you know, it's like the bare can coal method. Oh, I'm going to look at it and we'll be able to adjust the, the flame and see what's going on. No, you can't. Uh, you know, you're going to you're gonna um, start up a, a unit and do the bare can coal method. Oh, as soon as it's coal, it's good. No, you need to put your gauges on it. You need to check uh, superheat and subcool and dial it in. It's the same thing with a gas appliance. You know, we can't always go by 3.5 on a gas valve. That don't mean shit. You need to dial it in to, to get the right carbon monoxide levels. Um, that's what you really need. 3.5 is a starting point. Um, I, I've had gas valves that run at like 2.75. They run a lot better than 3.5. It depends on the size of the jets. Um, you know, it depends. You're not going to change all the jets to run 3.5 when you could run 275 and it, things running a lot better. Uh, you know, when you could see it right on the meter. You know, you're running the meter and it's the, the carbon monoxide levels are coming down, the CO levels. The CO levels, that's what we're concerned about, carbon monoxide. Uh, you know, there's other things to take in consideration also, but... Anyway, that's just my thoughts. And um, I'm glad to see a lot of the guys, a lot of my subscribers are getting meters. And, uh, you know, my efforts are, uh, are paying off. Um, I'm not pushing any meter in particular. I have the Testo 320, which I like, but there's Baccarat. And um, I'm not going to support any one company. Um, I like the Testo. You know, I have no complaints about it, but I'm sure the Baccarat and these other ones are good also. So I'm not bagging any of the other ones, uh, the UC, U, UCI or whatever it is, and uh, Baccarat, and there's a couple other ones out there. I'm sure they're good meters, too. I have experience with the Testo 320, and um, I like the meter. I got no issue with it. So, but, you know, um, um, I'm not uh, a certain company, man. If that Testo 320 starts acting up, it, it, you know, it's only as good as this last job. Uh, I might have to put new new sensors in there. You know, it's only good for a couple of years, and you got to replace the sensors. But so far, knock on wood, that meter can do a lot more than I could ever even think about doing. Uh, clock all it clocks meters. Um, there's tons of stuff that thing can do. I you know I haven't even really 
um, tapped into a, a quarter of what it can do. I'm basically just using it for, um, you know, gas and oil, uh, combustion analysis. I check the draft on it. And, uh, you know, sometimes I'll check the gas meter, but I'm not, I'm not too concerned about checking gas pressure. I'd rather get the, um, the carbon monoxide levels down. I'll set the, I'll set the gas valve where I can get my, uh, carbon monoxide levels down. Uh, I don't care if it's running at 3.5 or 275 or 2.5. Uh, incomplete combustion is high carbon monoxide levels, high CO levels. We want them levels down. That's the, the main purpose. Incomplete combustion will be high carbon monoxide. But anyway, that's the deal there. Uh, just a little vlog here. I'm going to start doing more vlogs. I haven't been doing any lately. Uh, there's been a couple of issues going on. A couple of people got their panties in a bunch. But I'm not going to stop doing my videos. I got a bunch of people calling me from all over the country and uh, telling me just to continue doing what I'm doing. And um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do my thing. Uh, you know, haters are going to hate and, you know, I can't stop them. But that's the deal there. I'm going to try to try to do some of the joke around videos. I'm going to continue to do that. I'm going to try, try my best. Uh, that's what I'm going to, that's what my intent is. You guys all know I got a little dog. Uh, I bought her. I bought her as a little puppy, and uh, uh, twelve and a half years, I should say. Every day she went in my truck with me. I took her to work, and then after the twelve and a half years, she decided that she didn't want to go anymore. So uh, she basically, you know, she's retired now. She's home. Uh, she's in diapers now. She's been in diapers for three years. I can't put diapers on her every day and come home and clean her up and stuff. You know, there's people over there saying that I hate animals and I'm an animal hater. And I'm not an animal hater. You know, if I was an animal hater, I would have I would have put my dog down, you know, three years ago. And she's pissing and shitting all over the place. She's been in flipping diapers, you know, and I'm taking care of her. I don't want to kill the little dog. She's been with me all these years, you know. I call her the one that never, the only female that never left me. <laughs> no, she's a good little shit. So anyway, this is this is the story. She has got these little pads I gotta put inside her little she's got these little washable um uh you know uh, diapers. So they got these little pads. I usually put these little posy pads, a little female pads in there. I'm always going to the market and buying these pads, you know. And all these people, all these feet these these young little tenderloins at the uh Register, I was looking at me like, what's this guy buying all these pads for, you know? I'm always telling them, they're, they're for my dog. They're all looking at me like, yeah, sure they are. So recently, I found I, I found these ones, the pens for men's, that, you know, they're kind of like the way they're shaped, and they got like a little funnel action. They, they work the best. They, they catch all the piss and stuff, and nothing nothing runs out. So every time I go in there, you know, I'm buying these the pens for men's, you know, and they're all looking at me like, I'm not that old. I'm only 50, you know. Look, I said, they're, they're for my dog. All the, all the young girls are saying, yeah, sure they are. Sure they are. Depends for men. Yeah. You probably need them for yourself. I said, no, they're for the dog, really. <laughs> I thought you guys would get a kick out of that. So, yeah, my little dog. Um, I take care of that little. I take care of that little dog. She's, um, you know, animals are good. Animals sometimes are better than people. But that's the deal there. I'm not an animal hater. Uh, that's for sure. Sometimes I get these comments and these people, they say all these things about me and that I'm terrible and this and that. Nah. You know, I'm just me. Nothing. I ever said I was, you know, never promised you a rose garden. I should sing you the guys that song. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, here's the little dog. Here's my little dog, Susie. Here she is. Your little Jack Russell. You can see the little diapers on her. Here she is. Here, here I am with the big the big animal hater. Here she is. She's going to be 16. A couple of more months, she'll be 16. Figured you guys get a kick out of her. So anyway, guys, uh, heating seasons are coming upon us here, and I got I got some different uh, you know heating jobs coming up, and some winterizations, and I'm going to be bringing you guys videos. So just just hang on, and uh, I'll, you know I'm getting better at the videos, 
and um, you guys watch them. And I appreciate all my loyal, my loyal subscribers, all the guys that support me. And I got guys from calling me from all over the country all the time. Every day, guys are calling me. You know, appreciate what I'm doing, and they, you know, um, which is cool. You know, YouTube videos is a lot of work, and I appreciate all the support I get from you guys. You know, and I got a lot of a lot of loyal guys that support me. Um, you know, and you guys know who you are. You know, Brad Allen. I could mention a whole bunch of them. You know, the whole list that I mentioned the other day. But there's more and more coming every day, and you know. That's why I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the videos for you guys. I'm gonna continue to bring videos for you guys. And uh it's been cool. I appreciate all the loyal support the support I get from you guys. And uh You know, I got some friends I made a bunch of friends on YouTube, which is a cool thing. A bunch of friends. Zach, Ralph, um, Johnny. There's a whole bunch more of them, you know, that I, you know, Emmett, I like Emmett, Emmett's a good kid, Justin's a good guy, there's a whole bunch of them that are, uh, you know, good YouTubers, and uh, there's a lot more, there's, a, there's some other guys that are coming up that do a good job, uh, you know, and I'll be, I'm going to start doing shout outs to different guys that do decent work, and uh, I don't want to just sh do a shout out to one person and not another, so I'll probably have to, um, think about how I'm going to do that, but anyway, guys, um, I appreciate, you know, the support, and don't forget, it's all about the family and your kids, uh, remember your kids, you know, when you come home from work and your kids, remember your kids, they that's what you're going to be thinking about, uh, you know, when you're deathbed, you're going to be thinking about your kids, that's the most, you brought them kids into this world, you better raise them properly, you know, all right, guys, have a good day, and thanks for watching my stuff and more videos.